Hello, welcome to how to make a game in Unity for beginners. My name is Dustin, and I just set up a brand new YouTube channel. Uh, and I have only uploaded one video to it. It's my 10 minute challenge. Um, it's something that's been going around YouTube for a while. Basically, it's making a game within 10 minutes. Uh, I decided to do that when I saw the Brackies challenge going around. I thought it was pretty interesting and it looked like it was fun. So I gave it a shot and I posted my video on this channel. Um, I will post the link in the description down below. It should not be hard to find though as it's the only one on my channel so far. Um, but what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to actually be creating a full-on game um, on what I had made in that in that challenge it I kind of like the concept of uh, of that 10 minute game that I made so I'm gonna go ahead and make a tutorial video on how I made it and I'm gonna add a little bit more to it and whatnot just to kind of go over like some of the basic mechanics of how unity kind of works and and some of the main things that you're gonna need in a game so uh if you're just starting off, first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to, you're going to need to download uh, Unity 3D. It's very simple. You just go to Unity.com. Not Unity 4, but Unity.com. And if you just click this Get Started up here in, on the top or on this big blue button right here, it'll take you to um, the different options that you have to download Unity. There's the Plus version, Pro version, and Personal. The Personal is absolutely free. Um, the Plus and the Pro versions, they just have additional uh, features that go along with Unity, but all you really need is the Personal version. So we're just going to go ahead and click that right here. We're going to click Try Personal accept the terms and conditions, and click Download Installer for Windows. Um, if you are using a, an Apple computer, a Mac, there's also a link here to choose the Mac operating system. Um, I already have Unity downloaded, so I'm not going to go through the install process, but it's a pretty straightforward um, install process. Just follow the prompts on the screen, and it will get you there. So. Once you have Unity loaded up, you're going to click New Project up here. I'm going to bring you to this window. And what we're going to do, I'm going to rename this project to My First Game. I'm going to select the location that you want it to save to. I've already done this. Choose your organization name. And we're going to use the 3D template for this. And we can just create Project. So this might take a minute to load up for the first time. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and pause this video and I will come back when it is done. All right, now that Unity has loaded up. Um, so what we have here, if you're not familiar with Unity, we have a bunch of different windows here that um, you can work in, in Unity. One of the main windows here is the scene view here. This is where you are going to basically be creating your game. Everything in your game is going to be edited through this window. Um, now the game window down here, this is basically going to be the screen that your players are going to see. Um, this is the view from whatever your camera um, is looking at within your game. So everything that the player sees is right here. Um, the hierarchy, this is um, basically where the list of all of your game objects within your game are going to be. Um, and if we click, for instance, like the main camera, it brings up in this inspector all the information about that camera. And we can change all of this here and and. basically change whatever we want about it. Um, the project window, 
Uh, you can look at this basically as like your file explorer window. It's you add folders, all of your project files are going to be here. Um, so yeah, uh, this uh, Unity, what's really cool is it's really customizable on where all these windows are at. You can resize all the windows you want. You can move them around to move the tabs to a different window if you want. Um, you can move them around and have them just a, be like a floating window or however you want it to do, however you want it to be. You can also come up to window here and you can choose layouts and it has a few different default type layouts that you can use. I like this two by three layout personally. I believe uh, that it starts off when you first install Unity uh, like this, as the, it, it's listed as the default, so I'm assuming that's what it starts off as. Uh, but feel free to change it however you like it. I'm going to keep it at this 2x3. So, um, a couple little things about how to kind of navigate through Unity. You have a three-button mouse with a scroll wheel. Um, in your scene view, you can scroll in and out to kind of zoom in. If you click and hold the mouse wheel, you can kind of pan around your scene. If you right click, you will it'll basically rotate your personal view. And if you left click and drag, you can basically highlight objects within Unity. Um, there's also a few options up here that we can use. Um, this little hand symbol makes it so that if you use your left mouse button, you can click and drag just like the right or just like the scroll uh, wheel button does. Uh, this move tool here will allow you to move an object. It brings up these three arrows here on whatever object you have selected. And if you just click and drag, it'll move those objects on whatever axis um, it's on. Uh, you can also click this little square in the center and just kind of move it or freely move it around. Uh, the rotate tool here, it basically allows you to rotate um, on whatever axis you want. Let's see, we also have the scale tool. Uh, you can't really see with the camera because it's not a physical object. So if I just create a 3D object here, um, you can just scale it out on these axes like so. Um, there's also the Rec tool, which is just basically another way of scaling your object. Um, it will also help out a lot with alignment on your object in the future. And then we have basically just a multi-tool here. Um, it's basically just a combination of the Move tool, the Rotate tool, and the Scale tool. You can use these circles to rotate, you can use the little squares to scale, and the arrows to move. So, um, I think that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to keep it pretty short. Um, so, basically what I want to do in this game is I'm going to set it so that um, we have basically just a simple floor for um, us to play around on. And then we're going to create a player. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing in the next video. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, and then I will see you in the next video.